Hello, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining the Monochrome stream. Um, we had a off week last week, uh, not intentionally. We were going to stream uh, the Game Maker instead of Box Edit and start doing some of that terraforming. Um, but we had some technical difficulties uh, with internet on the PC side of my computer here because um, I'm on the Mac right now, but I run the Game Maker. Uh, on the PC with boot camp and uh, for some reason my direct connect internet didn't want to work with that so no matter I'll figure that out and then we'll do that stream at another time um, so today we are jumping back into our characters and uh, this is our, our fifth character now we're going to create this is the soldier character um, you can see here me on the left here and um, yeah, pretty straightforward for the most part, this guy is. Um, I think the, the coloration on his, doing the camo is really what's going to be the, the tricky part, um, getting it to look, look like black and white camo. So um, we have our template for our avatar over here on the side, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in and uh, start making this guy look like the photo on the left there. Um, so first thing we'll always do is kind of purge the palette of color since uh, they do not have color. So we're going to do that. He's pretty, pretty light skin, really dark eyebrows. All right, the nose. Just kind of throw these in grayscale and then we'll tweak them as we really want later. Get his mouth. The mouth won't really matter because we are going to do it with the mask on. So we'll just do that for right now. And this hair is pretty, pretty light too. So I'm kind of liking that for right now. Let's go ahead and color all of these in here looks like we got some some black here and I th think today we'll also knock out this machete he's got uh, I've done the weapons before ahead of time but I figure it might be kind of fun to do that as well so I've got a knife I've done a knife for one of the guys and we're going to take that and modify it into a machete like he's got there, which will be pretty easy, I think. All right. I think we've, oh, there's something in his ear here. Okay. So for the most part, I'd say our color's gone. We're going to make him angry like we do. Take these sides off. Um, his hair is lighter than his skin, so let's drop his skin tone down, and then we're going to bring his hair up. We don't want it too light, though. Lost his nose somewhere along the way. Okay. Cool. Um... We're losing his ears here. Okay. Pretty good. So we're going to save that. Let's even out this hair real quick, and then we'll do this mask. So we have our symmetry on. Let's get this. This hair is probably going to be the easiest that we've had. All of these guys kind of have their own features, whether that's something they wear or their hair is kind of a big thing too. I just want this to be symmetrical and then we'll carve it out there. Okay, I think we're, we're pretty good. So let's, um, he's got a pretty big forehead here. So I think we take this one away. Right, 
let's uh, move all this skin color back. Alright, so we're going to fix that, but at least it's out of his face, and now we can get this mask. Okay, so it's pretty dark here. Let's see how this looks. So, it sits on his nose. It might go up higher. Let's kind of do a general outline <laughs> of how we want it. Let's see... Um, it might come out one more, maybe not. Let's turn this around. Oh, I see some color in there. All right, so let's fill this in. All right, so it kind of comes back. Smaller, whoops. Are we even numbers? We are even. Something like that. I'm gonna give this one more block below. All right, now we've got to build it out, so. Let's do one more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. So that's kind of his base, base mask. Um, now it's really hard to do circular things. You know what? Let's let's beef this up because that's kind of his thing. Let's um not do that. Let's bring it out one more all the way around. Here, here. Oh, not back there. That'll give us a little more room to mess with some stuff there. All right. Um, so he's got this filter on the right side, his left side, and it's really big. Let's swap color. I don't know how well we're going to be able to do that. But I have an idea for later, so we're gonna we'll hold off on that. Let's do a strap. Strap this to his face. So one goes over his ear, and then it kind of connects. Maybe right here. We're gonna Yeah, we're gonna do a layer. Maybe it gives it some three dimensions to it. And then I guess we'll paint it in his hair since it's his hair is that layer. Let's just bring it across for right now. Cool. And then there's a bottom strap which kind of comes straight across from down here. Might be able to pull this off. There we go. And then all the way across. Mm, we might have to add. Oh, 
What is this weird jumping from a paint to a layer? So we'll add more of his chin right there. There we go. That looks better. All right. Save as we go. Cool. Um, I think we need to add that right there. Maybe one right there. It's starting to look like Bane. All right. Cool. Um, we're going to make his hair. Oh, not there. Come down because it does have these kind of longer sideburns. We go below. That's good for now. His ears. Cool. All right, moving right along. So I, th I think for the filters, um, what we might be able to do is create this as a separate asset, kind of like we do the weapons, where I kind of link it into the hand. So wherever the hand moves, the weapon will move. I think we can do that with his mask. Um, because that's circular and it's rotated up in a different direction. We can't do that on this in one file. So we'll just do it that way. I wonder how this would look if we don't paint this on. Mess with that later. Okay. All right. So now I'd say the top's pretty good. Let's move down from here. He's got, uh, yeah, I have to play with the color of his skin and hair. Pretty, pretty similar. Um, but no matter. Let's go to the chest here. Looks like he's got a white undershirt. So that's really easy. We'll just take the base color here and make that off-white. Save that. All right, so from this camo, we're going to pick whatever color is going to be the basic camo default and paint the shape of the jacket in. And then later when we color everything, we will do all the spots. So. It's kind of open, uh, like a v-neck type thing. Maybe not. I don't want symmetrical anymore, so let's uh, make it kind of go off to one side there. And switch my tool. All right, so we're just going to paint this jacket on. Just so the little bit of the shirt shows through. Come on now. All right. Same thing on the back right here. Whoops. But we need to leave the white part of the collar. All right, now he's got a vest, which we'll do. Okay, let's do the vest. So the vest will need to be not the darkest because there's darker spots on this camo, but we'll do pretty, pretty dark. We do want symmetrical, at least for the beginning of this. And we will be painting a layer of this on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two straps over the shoulders. Like that. 
and then we have it it kind of comes right here so a couple streams ago I forget what character we were doing we were putting cargo pocket ribbon pockets on the pants and I made the comment that you can't do too many pockets because it gets crazy well this guy <laughs> has pockets and pouches everywhere, so this will be fun. So this is really covered in the back here, all the way down on the sides. So nice chest there, we'll need to add more here. Bulk them up a little bit. Strip right there. I think the uh, artists right now in the sandbox are working on wearables. Um, so there's a lot of really cool wearables on the market right now. Um, I think there's actually like a whole police riot gear thing. It was pretty cool. Um, let's do three straps. Yeah, that looks good. And then see we can let his shoulder hang out there all right I think that's pretty good let's throw these pockets on it let's see how we're gonna do this so we'll do a layer for right there oh you know what let's go all the way down let's make it a big pocket and then we'll do a darker color for the tops just so we can see it better and we'll throw this on there we go all right, let's see how many pockets we can get along the front here. Um, let's see, we can't do it too far down. So you're gonna do symmetrical, huh? One, two, and three. Maybe those might not work because they're right on the edge there. All right, let's see what that looks like from a distance. So save and back out of here. Let's get some light on our front here. Oh yeah, we're out a layer, so it's not really gonna hit his stomach, so we shouldn't have an easy fighting right there. Um. Cool. So what I want to do is, he's got these straps here, you can see where it kind of buckles down. Um, I wonder how cool that would be if we can make that possible. One more layer right there. I mean, he's like really protected. <laughs> that way it gives us some more something right there. Okay, okay. Whoa. So I'm good with that. Now, I should probably write these colors down because we're going to continue this down to the belly there. But that looks like a pretty good vest. It's like a mid-drift one, you know, if you want your belly button to show but not get shot. Uh, this would be the one for you. Alright, let's write these colors down. 34. And then we did the dark part on top for the pockets to A. Okay. So let's go to the belly. And we'll get rid of this blue color to our base color, which is 34. And I don't know that we're keeping pockets right there at all. Oh, but you know what? built it up like two layers yeah so we just need to add some no big deal so this this one here is kind of a love love hate uh, tool the face tool so this is one face so if you use this and you click it it will add one all the way around um, it's very it saves a lot of time but it's you got to make sure you know what you're clicking on or it'll waste a lot of time 
Let's see, I don't know if that's gonna, it's not gonna work in our case because it's gonna make it bigger where we don't want it right away. So we'll do that one. We'll leave one, we'll do that one. We'll leave one, we'll do that one. We'll leave both of these. And I am all over the place here. There. There's no pockets, so we don't need that layer. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, got to turn down some sensitivity. Okay, so we've got a little much right here. Yo, what's up, Andy? Kitty cat. Hello, everybody. There's all the things. Touche. Nice to see you, too. Ben, Max Litt, Ross, Karadax, GP. I know all of your names. Not your real names, but you know. Boop gooping. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, guys. Andy, I appreciate that. Uh, we're we're making this soldier character here. Trying, trying. And uh, making him a fashionable uh, vest going on here. So let's... Uh, that there we go Adam oh I had the, the thing on there thanks to Shay appreciate that this is yes this is Vox edit what's up snap in um, yeah we're working on uh, the characters for a monochrome game I will show you guys our previous ones if you want I'll jump out real quick and show you what we've been working on um, Oh, no sneak peeks of other stuff. Nobody saw any of that. Let's see. This is our fifth week making making characters. So first week we did the scout guy. Um, so in the game, each character gets harder and harder with bigger and badder weapons. So this is our first guy, and he just hits you with his fists. Um, kind of our biker guy. So he's our scout guy. And um, I, don't, I really like him. I really like him. Um, second week we did we did the psycho, which I don't know. That's, that one's kind of my favorite too. This guy's crazy. So now he's got instead of fists, he's got like these spike knuckle things. Um, he's a little crazy. So he'll have like two speed gems. So he'll be like really fast uh, when he gets minted. Crazy hair and all that. So that's the psycho. And then your mic is perfect. Nathan, per perfectly placed. It's like right, right in the corner. Let's see. The third week we did. Uh, what did we do the third week? We did the basher. Which is pretty sweet. So now we've got a spiked club. Cause you kind of have to with like dystopian apocalyptic stuff. So she's got some body armor, spikes, some Tina Turner hair, a couple spike bracelets and whatnot. And then the fourth week we did the jailer. She's pretty sweet too. So here she's got a crowbar, bandana, some padding, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, we're coming along, coming along pretty good. So we're working on this soldier guy over here, and um, I think altogether, antagonist-wise, we'll have fifteen bad guys plus two bosses, and then the good guys will have uh, uh, ten plus the character you play as. So. A lot of characters to do, um, but yeah. So we're that's what we're doing. These you'll notice there's no color. Uh, at least I haven't taken this one off yet. So the monochrome world is like the dystopian world where uh, the world sees color for the first time. So all the bad guys and mostly society 
are all black and white. And the good guys who are oppressed and kind of the underdog are the hues and they have skin color and whatnot. So we'll be doing those later. So it's a lot of fun. Um, we'll get to experiment with color in there, but all the assets I'm having to create are, are black and white. So, which is kind of shooting yourself in the foot because the marketplace is so great. That's so many great assets. Like I can't use most of them because there's color, you know? So, um, this is his vest we're working on. I'm going to extend his arm color here. We got to get rid of this blue. Keep it all intact here. There we go. Seventy six. And we're going to make his machete. I've got a knife I've done. We're going to alter it to be bigger and better. I've got one idea for it, and I hope it will work. But So this is his base camo color, and then when we do painting on Friday, we'll get all the camo splotches in there. That's going to be real tedious. Um, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. Care death. Um, yep. So I tried to stream kind of some world building last week. I've got over 30 black and white blocks and uh, I'm, I'm using a Mac. So I run it on boot camp. For some reason, my uh, Ethernet didn't work enough to run the stream, so I'm going to just stick with box edit for now. Um, but I wanted to stream the world building that because I have some really cool black and white blocks and whatnot. But yeah, it's just me doing all the assets and then the game. Um, on top of the, the the game contest right now and other, other work, so it's been crazy. Let's see. The, uh, the drawing over here um, on the left of the screen uh, is done by two of our artists. So we have so monochrome. We have uh, our first feature film that's done. We have our comic book that we are working on, which is in that style. Those are our two comic book artists, uh, Cairo and Leko. So they've done character concepts for all of our characters. And uh, we're done with issue one of the comic. We're just kind of fixing. We're doing the the text and all that stuff right now. So that's a lot of fun. And now we're doing a game, just kind of growing, growing this monochrome universe. So it's a lot of fun. Keeps us really busy. Oh, what happened? There we go. There we go. Anybody else uh, working on the game jam? Andy, I know you have been talking about it. We're getting pretty close. All right, we are almost done with his pants. Just getting that base color going. And he looks really funny in blue sneakers. Oh, we lost it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was that was part of the thing, you know, it's like how many people is your team? Uh you know, that sort of thing, so they can kind of determine the amount of time and, and all that. But, um, yeah, just just me right now. Um, you should. You should definitely apply. Um, it's a lot of fun if it's what you want to do. You know, that can't hurt, you know. All right, let's get his hands not skin color. So we're going to, what's really cool is, you know, coming into Vox Edit here, creating something from nothing, uh, you know, and then jumping into the Game Maker and being able to walk around with it, right? So 
I think that's kind of the coolest part is you create all these characters and then you jump in there and that's not going to work. And you can jump around and move and do all that. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, there's one hand. I didn't write those colors down. Let's do that. Uh, B E. And then this part. And this part. All right. I think after the hand, we'll jump to his machete here. Get that worked out. But eventually, I'd hope to like get until we start mincing, start the mincing process, do some giveaways and whatnot, and get some of these characters away so people can use them. Because that's part of it is sharing and letting everybody help each other okay so we've gotten rid of all the color um, it's the same base color all the way down it'll be camo we need to do his knee pads he's got more pockets he's got like a utility belt and a watch but let's I'm gonna say I'm gonna jump to the knife I have saved out and let's make it a really big knife Let's see, that's under weapons. Organization is key, organization is key. You guys wanna see a really cool weapon? Hold on. Azer, oh wait. First, here's the knife. Right, standard knife. I mean, like a Bowie knife, pretty big. 60 assets, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, mm, I don't want to make another one. I just want to see. I want to interact with it. Wow, that's insane. 60 assets. That's exciting. So that was our regular knife. This guy here is our taser knife. Slightly modified. So we're going to take the regular knife and we'll make it into a machete. Let's see, I saved it out ahead of time. Here we go. Man, that's a lot of assets. 60 assets. I think I've made... Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five assets for our game gym right now. Um, but it's it doesn't... It's not really relying on those. I found some stuff that, that I like on there, but... Um, that's, that's insane, 60. That's a lot of work. That's a great job. So on this, um, the handle's definitely longer in the back. So let's do that. So blue is at seven. We're going to go three more. Whoa, whoa. What is that? That was interesting. 25 are blocks. Blocks to me are... Hard. Well, it depends. So all of the monochrome textures, like everything's over 20 colors. So it's very realistic looking, as real as you can get with 32 by 32. Um, but to me, the blocks, when you put them next to each other to get them to where that's repeat in indefinitely, uh, it's been... That was the challenging part. I did those first, but I have I think we have over thirty of those. Um, so twenty five. Yeah, that's that's insane. That's gonna be cool. I can't wait to see what everybody has done. Okay, we added three. Hello, give me. And now we need to put this back. Let's see what that looks like. Almost like a samurai handle, but not. Okay, that's good. Let's throw some banding on it so we can... So that's our handle color. We're going to throw a darker shade on there. Bloop. 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 We'll 
do it right there. So we made it one more longer. All right. So that's good for now. If it's too long, we can just tuck it up in the hand there. This guard, I think we need to make one, uh, one row taller. Oops. Actually, not all the way around. I just want it on the long side. Which is not the side we have open. So, four, five, six. I didn't think I'd be using this much math. Jumping into this, but it's a lot of math. There we go. All right, so we're going to add it on the edges here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, the box tool. Okay, that's better. I don't think we'll do it on the top there. It's not super sword like. Crop, and then we gotta recenter this so it doesn't look like a crazy weapon. So we need to go to three. All right, we're gonna have to eyeball the rest. Let's see what that looks like. It's pretty close for right now. All right, let's see how long we're gonna make this blade. So right now we are one, two, three, four. That long enough? That looks pretty good. I don't want it to be sword. Let's see what that looks like. So we'll get our base color. I don't think we're gonna have that part though. We'll make this all silver. And we'll shape this up a little bit here in a minute. Although that's not too bad. Not too bad. What about an arm's length? It's pretty standard machete, I think. Unless it's an arm machete. Funny story about that. I'll tell you later. <laughs> um Okay, I think that's pretty good. We just need to kind of fix the tip here. So on this one, it kind of does this. We might add a row for that. But what my idea was, there's kind of this jagged utility part here. You can kind of see it by the shaft. Um, thought about just doing like a, maybe not that one. Maybe something kind of cool like that. So that's as detailed as we can get like that. Um, so yeah. Maybe one, whoops. That looks silly having a little poker on the end there. So I think the basic shape is there. What do we think? Just need to color it better. Yeah, I'm pretty good with that. So we'll save that. And I will import that back into him. Uh, probably on Friday. We do a stream on Friday and we'll we finalize as much as we can of our characters, but we'll put that in his hand. And then his mask here, the big filter on the, the side, I'm probably going to create that as a separate asset and then stick it on the mask so we can get that, that angle of it twisting like that. Um, okay, let's do... I'm going to keep the sneakers on for right now. Let's do some knee pads. So we'll do the right side 
first. And those are pretty dark. So I think almost all of our characters have knee pads. So this is not the first rodeo here. Let's try. Ooh, these are pretty big. Let's make these let's make these pretty big. Let's see what that looks like. So that would be three on either side. We're at 30, 30, 30. There we go. Oh, you might hear Stormy. All right, so we have three rows, two of five, one of three. Let's see how that looks. Pretty good. I think anything bigger than that would be quite silly. Okay, let's do the other side, and then we'll put a band on it. 30s. So one, two, three. Oops. Okay. And the bottom part. Okay, now the sneakers are bothering me. It's really silly. Actually. So I've been doing these monochrome ones, and I have not used the color in the box edit. And then when it comes to the game maker or the game jam, I can create anything I want. And I was using color, and it was so weird. It was so weird. Okay, there we go. What do we think? It's good knee pads. So let's strap them on in here. So we'll do another color slightly darker. Question is, are we going to paint them on or are we going to make a layer? Let's, let's try it with a layer first. Hmm. I don't know if I like that, but let's try it. There's our overlaps. So we're going to have some Z fighting maybe, but. We'll give it a go. And that is 3A. Extra overlap. Yeah, we might be painting these on. Say 3A. Well, let's at least try. Whoa, 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 little mouse. Okay. What do we think? I don't know. I know how to tell. Let's put them in a walk. No. Oops. It's almost like we need another layer on the top one there. But I do like that the the layer of voxels gives it kind of a little more protection. It looks a little more buffed up. But that angle looks weird. Unless we do both. It's going to feel like it's stretchy material, maybe. And it's less camo I have to paint later, which is going to be really tedious. All right, let's see what that looks like. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. What do y'all think? You know, 
what? I might even add another layer on top of that. Oh my gosh, my mouse is all over the place. Yeah, let's just do that real quick. So what I say that was? 3A? That is not what I said. Oh, that's 30. What? There we go. So we'll put these on there. We'll knock these shoes out. There we go. And now the bottom. Three A. Air dats, are you still in here? What, uh, how big a land did you do for your uh, game jam? Did you do one by one or did you go crazy? I'm gonna color that top part in. Yeah, yeah, the camo, um, not looking forward to that. It'll really add to it though, I think. Okay, there's our knee pads. Belt will do, but let's get rid of these shoes. Silly, silly shoes. I'll make them pretty dark. 21. We'll just make it all 21. Whoops. And then we'll color it later. I'm stuck. I stuck. You stuck to one by one. Yeah, I did too. That's smart. I mean, it's huge already, um, but even with as much time as we've had, it goes by so fast, even with a one by one. What am I doing? Left foot. There we go. All right. I forgot what color I did. 21. I just said that. You went crazy. It's like eight stores of underground city. Yeah. Yeah. So you use like all the space. That's smart. It can one by one can really feel like much more than that. I think it's going to be a really good time getting to play all these and all the guest judges and whatnot. All right. He's got these big boots, which most of our characters do. Let's see what that looks like. We're going to go all the way to this break. Boop. 21, yep. Okay. Nice. All the way up. All right, boots are done for now. We need a belt. He's got like a pouch strapped to this leg. Really looking forward to getting all the assets crew so I can get feedback from people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You've uh, Joseph's approved yours though, for play for playability, right? Let's see. He's got a pocket right here, so we'll throw that on there. Give it a pocket top for now. And then, it looks like he's got, oh, you know what, his sleeves are rolled up. Let's fix that. Yeah, I can't wait for the marketplace to open and uh, everybody being able to use them 
buy them and then display them. Everybody's making their, their museums, which is pretty cool. Let's put the skin back on here. Let's see. This sleeve's rolled up to maybe there. Oh my gosh, getting dizzy. There we go. Bring us from each batch. Yeah, nice. I've got a couple more. I gotta get to them. There we go. Yeah, I can't wait for multiplayer. Um, single player is a lot of fun, but multiplayer is gonna be a whole nother thing. I think I did one more. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. So far, so good. <laughs> so he is wearing a glove on this hand. Like, uh, so the vest actually doesn't come down all the way, which is interesting. It stops maybe there. So if that's the case, I might need to put that camel back and put a belt on right there. Yeah, uh, yeah, a few alone have done 60, and I forget what he said in one of the streams that he, how many artists' forms he had, but yeah, it's going to keep him really, really busy. So hopefully he's got the process down, 76, but luckily, I mean, he wanted to they want it that way, it's gonna just open up a whole nother thing for them for these games, so it'll be good. Alright, let's put our shirt color back on here. So if that's the end of the vest. Did I add a layer here? I did not add a layer. I don't know, let's go and see. Did add a layer. All right, we'll give him his shirt back. I probably added a layer on the sides. So I'll just cut that off. Okay, there we go. Vest. And then we'll do a belt. Do a walk. Let's see how this is looking with the walk. Okay, so that is right. Just need to maybe cut that off. Cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for joining. Come by Friday if you want. We'll be finishing him up. Um, let's see. Let's just fix his this part. And this part. And that part. All right. I think that's pretty good. For once, we're in a really good spot uh, for Friday. So we have all the coloration to do. We need to add the belt for all the pouches. This leg strap here. An arm accessory. 
and then the canister. So it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. So I think I think we're in a good a good stopping point um, for for today. But uh, everybody that's still hanging around um, from Andy Stream, I appreciate you guys coming in. And um, yeah, like I said, uh, Friday at the same time, which is what 4 p.m. Central or 2100 GMT, um, we'll be finishing this guy up. And then next week, what are we doing next week? Let's take a peek. Yeah, uh, open that up here. I think. Oh, oh, I know who next week is. This guy's gonna be super cool. So this is the grunt, and we'll do him next week. Um, dang, I gotta make a riot shield and a welder's mask and. A longer machete and some kind of skull. So uh, we'll do him next week and uh, finish up this guy. But yeah, so thanks for joining, everybody. Um, and I will catch y'all Friday. <laughs>